and we are starting this video right up with the review of Casa Borinquen in La Base Remy Aguadilla. Right here you have a very modern and comfortable Airbnb, a TV with cable and your streaming services, a kitchen so modern and equipped with everything top of the line that you need to make your food right here the rooms oh my god you have a uh, room for the kids with two twin beds a little balcony too we're gonna go to the second room a full bed comfortable for a couple the bathrooms have shampoo and conditional outsourced by locals and we're going to the master bathroom the throne for the kings this bed is so comfy and with a beautiful view right out of its balcony. And don't think we are done yet. No, no, no. You come outside with us and we're gonna take you to the best surprise here. And is this beautiful pool right here. And here we are in the beautiful pool of Casa Borinque and Rental in Aguadilla. And this is a communal pool, so it's not a private pool, but it is completely private to us. Look at her, she's just chilling right there in the water. Estamos aquí con Jolie, she's gonna take a dip in the water. And honestly, the price, the tranquility, the place, it's all beautiful if you're searching for something or somewhere to stay in Aguadilla near everything here in La Base Remy it's where you have to visit so check the links down below and make sure to come here probably not cute girls like that but hey <laughs> and as you have all of this modernity you have the pool you have all access to the house the balconies everything there is one more surprise that I want to show you here in Casa Borinquen and it's actually, let me turn around and show you. And that surprise is actually behind this door right here in the garage. It's a freaking pool table. <laughs> we love playing pool and having this right here in the garage it's so amazing they have right next to omega right there a generator if your power goes out open the garage door and you're gonna have power and you have two beach chairs right there plus some coolers so if you are obviously in Awadilla, you're gonna want to go to the beach you have those chairs you have the cooler you don't have to bring anything just come to the airbnb use the stuff here the amazing host jose has left for you and take the day on as much as you want you can go explore all of the towns on the southwest side or everything in this amazing guide we're creating for you in Awadilla. And here on the list of the things you should do here in Aguadilla, we are now in Rompeolas Beach. And as you can see, it's a beach as calm as it can be. I don't know how to say it, Rompeolas in Spanish means, you know, if the waves crash there, so it's secure. They drop boats, jet skis there, but this little corner all around, it's perfect for beach goers. And also right here, on our left, you're gonna see a few bars right across the street from La Playa Rompeola. On the weekends, this gets super packed. So if you want a place where you can get drinks, you have a beach nearby, you can rent jet skis here too. This is the spot you wanna come in Aguadilla. Dime, what do you think of this beach right here? I think it's amazing and I'm very happy that we came on a Monday, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Being here on a weekend, all of this gets completely packed. When I say completely packed, all of this through here, all the way to the end to Parque Colón, it's a boardwalk filled with restaurants, uh, bars, dispensaries, anything you want and need is gonna be all along this coast. And here we are in El Parterre de Aguadilla, and this is just right across from the cross street of El Rompeola. This little park right here, it's a debated zone where Christopher Columbus actually made his first disembark on his journey in Puerto Rico. 
and some of the facts that actually say he might have actually started here is that they found remains of barrels right near this place over there we have on all the agua or natural spring that it's where they think it actually started this part is very very old actually one of the first bridges built here in aguadilla was actually right next to the park so they recently you know cleaned it up a little bit try to regain a little bit of that local pride and community pride and right now it's a beautiful place to come enjoy sit around in the park and just have a great time in the town of Aguadilla and here we are guys in La Casa del Arbol in El Parque Colón this park right here it commemorates the arrival of Christopher Columbus on the island on his second voyage to the Americas they say he either landed here or in the Parterre where I just show you a little bit of footage but right now we're gonna visit this iconic location this tree house is legendary here on the island this has been for many many decades here and they always you know rebuild it a little bit and after the hurricanes and stuff and now we have this amazing structure which you have to check out if you're going to Aguadilla Puerto Rico What's okay. your reaction to this amazing treehouse here in Aguadilla? Well, it's amazing to be here um, y como que es respirar lo que se siente aquí. Es diferente, se siente diferente y es bonito que todavía al sol de hoy conserven el, la ceiba y que conserven el parque y que lo conserven tan bonito, están haciendo un buen trabajo. De hecho, cuando llegamos nos encontramos empleados del municipio cuidando el área, solo que es bueno, hay que decirlo también. Y es bonito que lo mantengan así. Este, para los turistas y para los locales. But now we get to enjoy breakfast. We're gonna go, we're gonna go to the fun park. Vamos a matar la que nos está matando. Yeah, I'm hungry, so let's go eat. And because we were so hungry, you know we had to come here to El Rincón del Viajero. And this spot right here, it's a travel inspired and theme coffee shop from one of the biggest influencers here in Puerto Rico. His name is Diary of Trips. I'm going to leave the link all down below. And you were crazy to come here for a long time. Sí, estaba bien asustado por venir, así que no lo planifiqué ahora que estoy en Aguadilla. Así que Arnaldo, no nos pudimos ver en el Tunco, en El Salvador. Vine a visitar tu espacio. So, poquito a poco me voy acercando a ver cuando nos conocemos. <laughs> And with that being said, vamos a try out that coffee. Yes, you know, out here, just waiting my flight, psych, we're at the coffee shop. I love how every window, it looks like if you were on the terminal ready to get your flight. Oh my God, this concept is so wild. I've never seen nothing like that here in Puerto Rico. And here we have a croqueta de jamón serrano and cheese. And they already ate them, like swallowed them. But me, I want to try it out now. I was a little bit, a little bit late to it, but hey. Mm. That is really freaking good. The little jelly on top. That's um, tomato. Huh? Marmalade. Oh, mermaid? Wow. Crazy. Very crazy. Yeah. I saw. Yo. I pitch wisdom for the kids, them solid as a prism, keeps a funky rhythm. If I want it, I go and get it. My blood thicker than water, we up like a zip of my jeans. Seems got ashes from the plane, I'm elevating and crashing in the bed. But instead, I hit my rooftop and watch the world go. And continuing our amazing exploration of the town of Aguadilla, we are here in a must stop obligatory. I don't care what you're doing, if you come to Aguadilla, you better stop here in Crash Boat Beach. And this historic beach right here is one of the most famous for me. My most favorite beach in Puerto Rico because you can mix fun with beautiful nature, snorkeling, scuba diving. When the waves are very high in the winter season, you can surf on this beach. 
plus amazing restaurant, kiosks, you can get piña coladas, pinchos, frituras, whatever you want in one same location. A historic beach, this used to be actually part of the US Army base. They used to refuel the boats and you know, everything that had to be with the army. Funny thing, there is a crashed boat almost disappearing on the coast over there. But that is not actually why the beach is called like that. It's because there were boats that used to be crashed onto the shores and locals started calling Crash Boat Beach. So amazing history, amazing place. I'm gonna keep saying amazing because that's my favorite word and more when I come to this place. The day is too nice to not jump in the water. So what do you say we go and take a dip in that water? Got it on deck on check. And here we are at another very sunny spot on our road trip in Aguadilla. You must come here and check this place out. It's called Peña Blanca and it's a snorkeler's dream. This place, if it's calm, because you have to know when to come. If it's high tide, you should not swim there. Is it low tide, you're gonna see the sand and the perfect shades in between the rocks and beautiful for snorkeling. Just as I said, a lot of turtles, a lot of fish, but I'm gonna do a more in-depth guide to the beaches in Aguadilla soon. This is just a overview of all the places you should visit here in the town. First time here, right? Yeah, first time. De la primera vez. Wow, sí. You can see over there are the snorkelers just enjoying the water. Perfect water, look at that. This is Playuela right here, all of this beautiful coast. We are down there. But in my in-depth video I'm gonna make, I promise you I'm gonna show you all of the beautiful things in Aguadilla. And this is just a little portion. All of this, you're gonna be amazed by it. All of this coast is right now being conserved, but a little information I wanted to give you, it's being the land around it. It was bought by a hotel, if I'm not mistaken, and they wanna develop it. A lot of people are against it and they do not want this to get developed. So we need to conserve our natural resources. I mean, why are we selling all of this beautiful, beautiful nature and ecosystem just to get concrete and everything on it? For, for me, it's stupid, you know? And then you get all of the incentives and all the people for luxury and all that stuff. I won't get too into it and too political, but let's conserve the nature better. And with that being said and done guys, I want you to go down below and destroy that freaking like button. I want you to comment down below too what you thought of this video, what you thought of Casa Borinque Rental and the beaches of this beautiful town of Aguadilla. Let me know if you want a more in-depth guide to show you what to do around here. And remember for everything Puerto Rico, you're gonna see all of my videos down below. And remember, I also do private tours, so if you're looking for a little guided tour with the best guide here in the island, hit down below the email and write to me. With all that said and done, guys, have a great evening. Tongue of PR. I'm out. Peace.